。好，今天呢，我们很感恩，我们有主的牧师在门当中来分享神的话语。啊，他很少来到门当中，但是他这次他选择来，因为呢，要看看我们一个人啊，就是呢，要亲近我们一个人。所以今天我们一起来，而且同时呢，今天我会为着我们的领袖来做这个祝福的祷告。所以我们啊，当我们讲完道之后呢，我们将会有一些的时间来为领袖们祝福，领袖来祷告，让我们一起相信，二零一九年是新的一年呢，神要使用我们所有一些的啊领袖们哈。好，我们祝福不耽搁时间，我们就这里掌声欢迎我们的杨牧师 ，Let's welcome Pastor Ben to share the word of God this morning. Good morning. 啊，大家早上好。God is good. 神对我们真好。Amen. Amen. How many of you had difficulty getting up this morning? Today morning, 哪一个哪一位呢？很很难起床的吗？哇，很诚实啊！ Honest people. 人家是很诚实的人呐。Once there was a story that I read, you know, about a, a guy, a man who had a hard time getting up every morning, especially on Sunday. 那么一个故事告诉我们，一个男人呢，很难在早上特别组织的起床的。So wife nudged him and says, "Get up!" 啊，他就开始叫你要起床了。Ask. Told him to get up a few times. We start to get up a few times. And he says, "Finally, give me three good reasons why I must get up." Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good reasons why I must get up. Ah, give me three good And he still didn't want to get up. You 还不要起床吗 ？I says, give me a third reason. 第三个理由是什么呢 ？If it's a good reason, I will get up. 如果第三个理由好了，我一定起床。And the wife finally says, not only you are fifty years old. 那老婆说，那不但你五十岁了。You are the pastor of the church. 你是牧师啊，要早起床啊。And you got to get up. 你要起床。Hard time getting up, isn't it? So this morning is a joy just to be with you. 我的喜乐能够在这里一起团聚。I just love to be with with people of God. 我很喜欢跟神的儿女在一起。Because it's nothing like just being a family worshiping God together. 我好像觉得一个大家庭一起来敬拜主。I just love the way you laugh. 我很喜欢你那欢笑的方式。When I started my joke, some of you were very serious. 哦，我一直我开始了笑话了，有可能有点严肃。And then by the time I gave you my third reason, you started laughing. 那么第三个呢？要引你啊，理由之后呢？你就给我回应。In life, 在生命当中 ，in family, in church， 在家庭在教会里头 ，two words in English， 有英文字在两个字的。Will define a good life, a good family, a good church. 来结，来结。来诠释的这个呢，好的教会，好的家庭。It is just laughter and chatter. Chatter means talking. 那么就是那欢笑和那那个啊说话。It's so true, isn't it? 真的是这样子。Laughter and chatter. 我们在如果常常呃一些欢笑谈论。If there is laughter and chatter between a husband and wife, there's a great relationship. 如果夫妻常常有欢笑有谈妥谈论的话，是好的事情。It doesn't mean they don't have problems and difficulties. 不是他们没有难处没有问题。But they are on the right track. They can weather every storm. 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 They can weather every You know, they think that with preacher means you cannot laugh, you cannot joke. 那么以为在在教会里面呢，是越严肃，属灵都不能笑啊。And I've always always found these two things so true. 我说这个两件事是非常真实的。You know, the uh, I've not seen a growing church fighting. 我没有看过一个真正成长教会常常吵架的。I never seen a fighting church grow. 我没看到，从来没看一个常常争吵的教会增长。At the same time, I've seen churches where there's always laughter and chatter. I said, "That's a great church." So, if you see, you can have great Bible teaching, you can have great preaching, but people are not talking to each other. People are not relating 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 to each
Our team this year is going and growing. I think when we, the next time I come in years to time, in years to come when I come and preach here, with this very small platform, both Pastor Paul and I cannot afford to put on weight. So I think this shape just nice. Just nice. Uh, just nice. Just nice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you this morning about the life of Abraham where he was tested by his, uh, uh, of his faith. The passage is found in Genesis chapter 22. We're going to read the passage in a short while. But first let me say this, that this was a time when God, the Bible says, tested Abraham. And there's one thing we need to know is that our faith will be tested from time to time. Whether we are one year old Christian or ten year old Christian or forty years old Christian, our faith will be tested from time to time. And here the Bible says God tested Abraham. The Bible didn't say God tempted Abraham. There's a difference between temptation and Testing. What's the difference? You know, in test, in temptation, the source is Satan. The motive is to destroy. The outcome is to shame and bring the worst out of us. But in testing, the source is God. The book of James says that God is never tempted, cannot be tempted. And God would not tempt anybody. You know, what is testing? In testing, the source is God. What is the motive? It is to to build. Okay, and the outcome is to shape and bring the best out of us. That's what testing is all about. Same thing in our examinations, our school tests, you know, it's not to bring the worst out of us, but to shape us, to mold us, and bring the best out of us. And in this testing, God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac. This was a very unique and different kinds of test. Because in the history of Israel, and the history as far as God first existed until now, God has never asked anyone besides Abraham to sacrifice a human being. In fact, in the Old Testament, you know, God teaches against sacrificing children. The, the nations around Israel sacrificed their children as a sacrifice to God in their worship. And the Bible says this was evil in God's sight. So when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, it was a very unique testing. And I want to say to all of us here that God only did it once. So if you are hearing voices in your head, and you think you are hearing voices to say God, and God is saying to you, kill your son or kill your daughter and sacrifice him, that is not God. See, a lot of things God does once. Jesus only once he spat on the ground, mixed his saliva with the soil, and then took the paste and placed it on a blind man's eyes. And said, Go and wash. And you shall receive your sight. Only once. 
Only once did Jesus turn water into wine. Only once did Jesus turn water into wine. Only once in the history of Israel on the Exodus journey. But yeah, just one time in that time, when they went to Egypt, the story. When God led the people to conquer a city, then when God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to march around a city, Jericho, you know, thirteen times in seven days. God asked them to There's only once that God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. In this, God changed the history of the world. Only once did God ask Abraham to sacrifice his son. It was a real test. That is a real test. You see, Abraham has got twenty sons. So, he, ah, Abraham has twenty sons. How many of you have twenty sons? 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 Ah, akan dok akan dok hai. Not a prophecy, ah. Ah, bukan kan? You know, kalian cuman. If there are twenty children, if God, if Abraham have twenty sons, 如果有二十个孩子的话 ，probably Abraham will say, God take some more. 啊，说上帝要给我啊，生再更多。Less children, less problem. 啊，少孩子少问题。But he was his only son. 我只有一个孩子。Whom he loved dearly, and he waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 years to have that son. He waited for 25 Because the Bible says, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, when God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, I could imagine Abraham. I could imagine Abraham. From the time God spoke to him, 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 from the time To go to this mountain called Moriah. You see, the principle in life is always like that. We are 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 So I have to pay toll to him. I have to pay toll to Pastor Paulus every time
you know, and it's very painful. But this part and parcel of life and growing. They have to let go of their parents. And then when they are grown and they finish Form 5, and they want to pursue their studies, and a career path. They have to let go of their school friends. Let go of their hometown, Ramban. Let go of the seal power in Ramban. And then go to KL or Timbuktu. You have to go and study. Let go to go. And then when we get married, no, the Bible says, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. We must learn to let go of our parents. Parents must learn to let go of your children. You know, in order for us to grow, we must let go. So very often we ask stupid questions. Have you ever met anyone in the bank and what question you ask? Banking. Uh? Of course, banking. Banking la. What else do you do in the bank? You meet someone in the market, you say it's marketing. La. Of course, marketing. La. What else? The next time someone meet you in the bank and you say and ask you, are you banking? You say, no, I'm buying vegetables. <laughs> we ask all kinds of stupid questions. Today. One of the most popular questions during reunion time during Chinese New Year. Especially for those who are single. How many of you are single? We are not. God not. How many of you are single and you're happy being single? <laughs> oh, God bless you. How many of you are single and you hope to get married one day? God answer your prayer. Amen. You know, it's every time Chinese New Year we give ang pao to the, to, the, to, to, to the single people who have aged already and are still not married. We always say, ah, 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 and then we say, when are you getting married? And then when they get married, we ask another question. When having children? No end. You know, but life is like that. See, in order for us, even sometimes to get married, we need to let go. Let go of our ex-boyfriends and girlfriends. You think it's funny, eh? actually it's true. I've known of people who are getting married, still contact the old boyfriend and girlfriend. After marriage, still contact them. In English, we have this saying where your ex-girlfriend and boyfriends, we call them old flames. And one day, in a wedding, Usually, the bride arrives late. For whatever reason, the bride needs to keep the bridegroom waiting. Park Thor also wait. Wait for her to dress up, wait for her to get ready. Get married also wait. But this marriage, this wedding, the bride was ready in church. The bridegroom was very late. So they're wondering, where did he go? Did he change his mind? But finally he arrived. They they heard heard the siren of a fire engine. And he arrived in a fire engine. And then they got married. And then during the reception, he gave a speech. He said, some of you may wonder why I was late. Some of you also were asking why they arrived in a fire engine. He says, on my way to wedding, to, to marry my, 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 my wife, my I have to go out and 
put out some old flames. Wow, you say wow. 就是要出先处理一些旧的一些的火，就前任你男朋友、前任女朋友的意思的。It's so to letting go. 就是放下你过去的。You know to go get married. 好了，你去成家立业。In life is always like that. 人生命也是这样子。When you get married, is letting go of your selfishness. 所以要结婚，你要离开你的自我。No, and then thinking of not just I, me, and Benjamin, but us. 不要只是单单是我我的事情而已。You see, in holding on, we not only don't advance. 我们做着，我们就无法前进。Sometimes we destroy the very things that we hold on to. 我们做开几年，我们会破坏我们所做的东西。Letting go of the things that have hurt us in time past. 也是的，一些啊伤害我们东西，我们要放下了。Sometimes letting go of the of our victories and our successes that we have had in the past. 甚至我们放下我们的得胜和我们的成功 On no on no on January the second second day of our English New Year. 今年的二零一九年一月二号 I was driving. 我在驾驶的时候 And that day was a little bit moody. 那天比较情绪化 How many of you know that even pastors can get moody? 你说牧师也会情绪化吗 Pastors pastors not angel. 啊，这牧师是不是天使？ How many of you? Maybe I must ask Yin Cheng and Shirley, and Pastor Paulus, uh, those who work in church. You know, how many have you seen me moody and sad in church before? 多少人看到牧师在这个哦呃办公室的非常忧愁，很情绪化吗 ？No, right? No. Half the time or most of the time, I'm happy. Ah, 大多数时候呢都很欢喜快乐。But that day, I maybe I woke up the wrong side of the bed. Maybe I ate too much Hokkien mee, and I do not know. Okay, see. You know, I woke up. Not too good. Ma, 大概可能吃的太多呢，附近面可能吃的睡不好，所以情绪化。And then to make things worse, I was slightly late already. 而当天呢，就因此呢，我迟到。And then there was a big traffic jam. 而且又交通堵塞。In Seramban. 在芙蓉。And then next thing I look up, I saw a group of motorbikes weaving in and out of the cars. 我们看到一很多这些啊车的飙车。And then I saw one last motorbike. 我看到这些两辆车，单车 out and coming towards me. And I was just saying, I hope he won't knock me. I hope he won't knock me. 我希望他不要撞到我车。You know, and true enough, he knocked me. 当时真的撞到我车。He hit my left wing mirror. 那么撞到我那个车左边那个车镜子。If that's not bad enough, 不但如此。He turned around, 看着我 ，and look at me, 看着我的 ，as though it was my fault. 好像是还是还是是我错。He didn't say anything. 他没讲什么东西。But I could almost read the. His, his, what he was trying to say. Why your wing mirror so big? 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 Why your wing mirror so January second. I say, yeah, this is year two. It's a brand new year. This is a new year. And I ask myself, do you want to start your new year like that? You want to start this new year like that? I say, no. I say, no. I say, no. Don't do that. This is no good way to start a new year. This is not the best way to start a new year. In order for us to advance, if we want to advance, we must learn to let go. You want to let go. Sometimes letting go of the past. You want to let go of the past. Past hurts. Past hurts. Past hurts. Past hurts. Past pain, you know, maybe some, maybe maybe your spouse or maybe a child, maybe a loved one has been taken away from you. Yes, it is. The the 配偶可能是你的孩子，可能是家人离开了你。We always remember the dead. 你就开始想到这个他的死亡。But we live for the living. 那我们今天是为了活人而活。Don't live for the dead. 不要为了死人而活。Remember them. 要可以纪念他们。But Live for the living. 但是为着活着而活。Six years after my late wife has passed away, 那么我的前妻在六年前去世。I still go very often to her grave site. 我常常到到这个坟场。You know, ah, not to mourn her anymore. 不再是为她伤心。You know, but to celebrate a life of twenty-nine years of marriage well lived. 为着二十九年时间我们在一起。
I still plant plants there. And if it's a very, very hot weather, maybe once in two, three weeks, I have to go and water the plant. Yes, yes. Weed out. The weather is very hot. I have to go and water the plant. Twice a year, change the plant. Then, after two years, I will plant the plant. It is just remembering. It is just a reminder. You know, but we must learn to let go. But we must learn to let go. Life must. Go on. So, what are the things that you need to let go of? What things you need to let go of? Is it a pain? Is it a pain? Is it a success? Is it a success? Maybe it is a bad experience. Is it a bad experience? Maybe you'll be disappointed by people. 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 Maybe On the Bible says in Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse four to eight. We look at this Genesis chapter 火一刀，于是二人同行。以撒对他父亲亚伯兰说：“父亲呐、啊，亚伯兰说了，我儿，我在这里。”以撒说：“请看，火一柴都有了，但方家的羊羔在哪里呢？”第八节，亚伯兰说呢：“我儿，神必自己预备做方家的羊羔。”于是二人同行。See as Abraham and Isaac were walking up to the mountain. 当这个亚伯兰和以撒往这个山上去的时候 ，servants were left behind. 那仆人在后头。And as they were walking up the mountain, they were walking up the mountain. 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 They were walking up the By now was probably a teenager or young adult, and as they were walking up, when they were walking up, the son says, "Dad, father, the papa, you know the firewood, the fire, no, the wood is already there. Where is the sacrifice?" But the wood is where? And Isaac probably thought the father forgot about the sacrifice. So he and the father forgot to take the wood out. And Abraham knew that his son Isaac was to be the sacrifice. Yeah, Abraham knew that his son Isaac was to be the sacrifice. But Abraham cannot say that. But he cannot say that. Until the time comes. So, when the time comes, he will do it. You see, and all Abraham said was this. Yeah, Abraham knew that his son Isaac was to be the sacrifice. Yeah, Abraham knew that his son Isaac was to be the sacrifice. Yeah, Abraham knew that his son Isaac was to be the sacrifice. Yeah, Abraham knew that his son Isaac was Will provide a lamb for the burnt offering. You see, we go by letting God take His rightful place. Let Him stand. Let Him stand in the right position. How was God going to provide? Abraham do not know even at this point. At this moment, the Lord did not know even at this point. He couldn't see ahead. He could not see ahead. That God would provide a ram in place of His son. But the Lord had already provided the lamb to replace His son. All he said that God is will provide. He just said, "Yahweh be his pay." You see, to allow God to take his rightful place. If we allow God to take his rightful place, let God be God. Let God worry about that part. Let God be God. 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 Let God be You see, the Bible speaks about God when creating the world. When God created the world, He created the world in six days. 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 He created the world in six days
要横山要造成，那就是第一天。And then God continue creating. 神不断创造的时候 ，until the sixth day He created man. 到第六天，神创造人。And the Bible says, you know, for first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth day. 从第二到第六天都是这样子。The Bible says there was evening and there was morning, and that was the sixth day. 他说有晚上有早晨，这是六天的创造。You see, God didn't say there was morning and there was evening. 神没说是晚上是早上开始。That's why it starts. Probably when we would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning and evening. We would say, we would say our day starts in the morning When you go to sleep the night before, 那意思说你要开始是你睡觉之前呢，这个那一天就开始了。See a lot of young people sleep at two a.m., three a.m. 今天很多年轻人是两三点才睡眠。They are on the computer, they are on their phone, they are on you know social media. 啊，不但是我们这个的啊，上网啦，还是那玩玩手机啦。And they sleep from three a.m. 啊嘛，从三点开始睡 ，to eleven a.m. 到早上十一点。Eleven uh, a.m. Same. Ah, 到早上十一点。How many hours? 几个小时？也是八个小时。Three to eleven, eight hours. 大概八小八个小时。Correct or not? 对吗？啊 ？Even though it was eleven hours in bed, it's very different when you sleep from nine p.m. or ten p.m. You know, the next morning, five a.m. 虽然是三点早上到十一点是八个小时，和这个晚上十点到早上的时间呢，是从八个八个小时。There was evening and there was morning. 当时确实的晚上。You 晚上喝酒早上。Young people, do yourself a favor. 哇，你要为自己呢要预备。The sooner you learn this, 当你越快学习 ，you know, health wise and long range wise, you'll be better off. 那么，你看这个身体的体质健康是呢，是很重要的。God has created us. 神造我们是如此。You see, God works throughout the day. 那么神全全全天在在在运作。There was evening and there was morning. 那从晚上到早上。You know. You know, and when we go to sleep, 当我们去睡觉的时候 ，we just go to sleep. 我们就睡眠了。Let God worry about the problem. 我们就安心睡觉，让神来去担忧我们担忧东西。There was evening and there was morning. 就晚上有早上。He works throughout the night. 他会全天都为我们做事情。So when I got a big challenge, 我有一个很大的挑战。No, I say God, I need to sleep early. 我要早睡啊。It's important for me to sleep early. 因为我要早睡。So that when I wake up in the morning, 当我早上起来的时候呢 ，I'm alert. 我就很惊醒。You know, I'm not half asleep, moody. You know, on the top of people. 我不会呢，就是呢，睡不好。我怎么惊醒？我们需要这样子。And the most important thing is to just let God be God. 就让神成为神。I know sometimes when we got problems, when we got challenges, we don't know what to do, we don't know how to solve it. We have sleepless night. 那么有时候不知道如果处理很大的问题困难，所以我们很难睡眠。我们常常有这个失眠的问题。But the key is to surrender it to God. 就是交呃，关键就是呢，交托给神。You see, God sees ahead. 上帝是预先看见。He knows even before it happens. 还没发生之前，他已经知道了。There's a story told in the Old Testament in the Exodus journey in in the book of Exodus. 我在圣经在创呃出埃及告诉我们一个故事。They came to this place, a pool of water, and it was bitter. 那么那个那个地方有水，地方是苦水。Because it was bitter and they cannot drink of the water. 因为是苦的，就不能喝了。The Malays says they were sangat mara. 啊，他们就因此很生气，叫 mara. And they called the place mara. 真的名字叫 mara， 这个名字叫这个是苦水的意思。Because they could not drink of the water. 也不能喝这个水。It was a desert place. 是一个旷野，是个沙漠。And God told Moses. 所以神对摩西说呢 ，Take the branch. 他拿这个植物 ，Throw it into the Into the into the pool. And the water will be drinkable. 那么那水就能够喝了。You see, the provision was already there. 因为神的预备已经已经预预备好了。And we must trust God for it. 你要相信，信靠神。Last but not least, 最后一样的东西就是 we grow as we go. 我们一边去一边成长。
See in Genesis chapter 22 verse 9 to 14. 我们看这个创世纪第 22章第九节到第十四节，我们看。给我们看这个创创世纪第二十二章第九节到第十四节，第三个重点。他们到了神所指示的地方亚伯拉罕在那里住坛把柴摆在阿伯拉罕困绑他的儿子以撒放在墙的柴上亚伯拉罕就伸手拿刀要杀他的儿子耶和华的使者从天上呼叫他说亚
Are we worshiping faith? So this particular couple. You got into the third page because Fufu. So she has got children in New Zealand studying. She's in New Zealand. Her son is studying. For years, she's been telling them off the light, off the light, off the light. They don't listen. Her son is still calling. Her son is still calling. And then the children started growing up. Children started growing up. Started working. 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 And when she visited the daughter in New Zealand, when she visited the daughter in New Zealand, the daughter told mom of the light. Ah, 孩子叫孩子叫关灯的关灯。And she said, "Oh my goodness! For years I've been telling her of the light. She don't listen." 一年多了，还是告诉她不要啊，要关灯还是忘记了。Now all of a sudden she's telling me of the light. 啊，开始要要关灯了。You know why? 为什么呢 ？Because she is now the daughter is paying the electricity bill. 哦，不是，现在开始她孩子谈，孩子有孩子谈到关灯了。We always grow with responsibility. 所以因为有责任，你会成长。Always that way. 就是这样子。Don't be afraid to go. Places that God has put in your heart. So, don't be afraid to go and do the things God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God has put a burden in your heart to do. If God has put a burden in your heart to do, don't be afraid to go and do the things that God Last year, you know, we had a group of STM students that came to Agape to visit churches. We, ah, 去年有一班来自马来西亚神学马神的学生来到探访我们 And so there were about twenty Bible school students there. 那么大概有二十几位的神学生 You know, and they came from different churches, different or throughout Malaysia. About the 全马各地的一些的呃同学们在我们当中 And they saw what we have in Agape. 就看到我们爱恩堂有些的设备 We are a very blessed church. I want you to know. 我们是很蒙福的教堂教会 And they asked me this question. 他就问我一个问题 There was a question and answer time. 因为有这个问答时间 They asked me whether I saw all of these from the time I came to Agape. The first time I came to Agape, I came in 1988. They see everything like that. 他以为说我一九八八年服务的时候，看完整个地势已经看到了了。I said no. 他说没有啊。One step at a time. 一次一步一步来的。As long as we are willing to go, you know we don't know how, but God will provide. 那么我不知道如何，我们只要前前行的话呢，神必为我们预备。As long as we know it is God that we are here. 只要是神说了，我就顺服。So my greatest challenge. 我最大的挑战就是。It's not the money factor. It's not the people factor. I think people factor is more important than the money factor. If I can motivate people and tell them why they must do it, if I can motivate people and tell them why they must do it, if I can motivate people and tell them why they must do it, if I can motivate people and tell them why they must do it, if I can motivate people and tell them why they must do it, if I can motivate people I say, God, I must really know whether it's Your will. So, if I know it's Your will, it's very important. And if it's really Your will, I'm not afraid to do it. If I know it's Your will, I'm not afraid to do it. Not afraid to take the challenge. I want to conclude. 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 This will shock you. We really, uh, 惊吓你 Was thirty-seven point six, not million, billion dollars. 不是百万，是亿万。这个两百六十七亿。That's how much casinos made. 就是所谓的啊，这个赌啊，赌场如何赚很多赚钱。Hong Kong dollars is U.S. dollars. That's it. Million, 二百六十七亿。Thirty-seven point six billion. 二百六十七亿美亿美金。You see, friends, the house, the casino, the house. Always win. I know. I know. The club is always winning. It tells me a few things. It tells me a few things. It tells me that people are desperate. People are very desperate. It tells me that people want to make it in life. He said, "I want to become a successful person." Some people want easy money. They want money that is easy to get. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the evil one to destroy families. It also tells me that it is a trap of the
put your trust in God. In this year, we will put our trust in God. Not in not in chariots, not in chariots, not in false securities. Not in false securities. So the Bible says in chapter 22 of verse 14 in, in Genesis, Abraham called the place Jehovah Jireh. Meaning the Lord will provide. For the English word, the word provide comes from a Latin verb V-I-D-E V-I-D-E Next slide, please. V I D E meaning video. From which we get the word video. This V I D the video means to see. So the word provide in English. When it says the Lord will provide. So It simply means the Lord sees even before it happens. And God saw. The ram, he provided an animal in place. Abraham couldn't see it. But God already prepared. See, nothing catches God by surprise. Even before it happens, God knows. He sees the end from the beginning. And so this year, as our team says, Going and growing. Let's not be afraid to go. To go and do the things God has called us to do. To be obedient to God in every aspect of our lives. To take a stand for God. You know, and then say, God, I want to let go and let God. Stand with me, won't you? Hallelujah. Let the worship team come. Hallelujah. We want to close this session by having a time where we can stand at the altar. This altar is not for problematic people. But with people who have problems, it's <laughs> different. But this altar is for people who are not having problems, but people are saying, God, I thank you for a good life. A good family, a good career, a good church. And I want you to use me. We want to say, God, this year, we want to live out this theme, going and growing. We want to go by letting go. We want to go by letting God. And as we go, we want to grow. Grow in our love for you. Grow in our understanding of your word. Grow as an individual. Grow as a family. Grow as a church. And so even before we sing, I want to open this altar. I'm not going to so much pray for you, but you're going to pray for yourself because God is going to come down and do a wonderful work in your life. We did this last night. Three quarters of the church came up And this morning we're going to believe That God is going to fill this altar And you come and meet with God here right now Because God wants to meet with you So come right now Come right now and stand in the presence of God Fill up this altar here Come on church Shikarababababariyanda 那我们委员有三位就是王主席牧师冯燕青同工还有我们的严肃分同工那我们有各四工级呃各四工级部门的负责人行政是我们的王主席牧师敬拜赞美是我们的冯婷婷儿童冯燕青招待部是陈赤明
，是谢慧慧同工，关怀不是我们的王主席牧师。好，我们特首们，请我们的巴士边来为我们的祝福，我们领袖祷告。We ask Pastor Ben to pray for our leaders in S2. As Pastor Paulus closed the service just now, he talked about the burdens of the heart. 刚才呃，我在结束祷告之前，我说了一句。Certainly, you know, leaders carries a burden in their heart. 那么呢，领袖呢会呢承担这个责任在心里面。To be a leader is very different. 做领袖是不易啊，不容易的。I have had Sleepless night, even though I say trust God. 虽然我们信靠上帝，有时候会失眠呢。I still remember there were many nights. 啊，好多晚夜，好多晚上。When my late wife was still alive, then. 那是我的前妻还在还活的时候。Because of the pressure of the church, the burden of ministry. 那么对这个教会的施工的负担。Uh, we didn't fight. It's just the pressure of ministry. 因为在要服侍，一定很多压力。She would turn to this side of the bed. 啊。I would turn to that side of the bed. 那么当时的我一人睡一边。And we are just crying. 我们就流泪。We're crying because the pain and the pressure and the burden that we carry as pastors. 那么呢，我们做牧师的责任很大，很重大，所以呢，我们要。And I'm sure that these that stand before us. 同样，我们做领袖的。Maybe not all, some, no, or most of them, you have probably have cried, you know, serving God. 啊，也许在侍奉当中，你面对很多这些流流泪的事情。Leadership calls for a strong heart. We are not meant for the faint-hearted. We are not meant for the faint-hearted. We are not meant for the strong-hearted. 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 We are not meant for the And we pray that you no, know, there will be a strong, as always in agape, a strong union and, and chemistry between leaders and followers. 我们刚刚谢主在安堂，我们领袖的非常合一，非常愿意呢有默契的这种的关系。You see, we need people like you. 我们需要你们每一个人。The people to carry the firewood. 要需要像这个以撒拿起这个柴一样。You know, to do the mundane, the everyday things of life behind the scene. 然后在这个幕后，你要承担的工作好多。Church cannot happen without you. 因为教会教会不能存在如果没有你们。So thank you for serving. 谢谢你们的服侍。Thank you for volunteering. 谢谢你们义务来帮助我们。At the same time, you know, we thank God for leaders. 我们要为了领袖们感恩。So hold your hands, leaders. And we are going to pray for you. Let's stand together. Stretch your hands towards this. Ah, and let's pray. Okay, we're going to ask Pastor to present the token to all the leaders. Yeah, let's pray. 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 Let's
。我来在那里，我们生命就是个好见证。祝福弟兄姐妹，愿主耶稣的恩惠、上帝无限的慈爱、一生的感动和团聚与我们同在，从现在直到耶稣回来。奉主耶稣的名字祷告，阿门。愿神祝福大家，我们可以平安的散会。不要忘记谢谢我们的牧师，谢谢。